So we've got a customer request today, and they're asking us, how do you set your striker plate so your door shuts correctly on your 50s and 60s trucks? Because they're all basically about the same. It all looks, operates exactly the same. Now, the first thing that you want to do before you even start messing with your striker here is that you want to make sure that you have your door in the right spot. I've got a video for that. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's going to make it a lot easier to find. It was only a couple of weeks ago, so go check that out and make sure your door is aligned properly first. In order to align your door properly, you're going to need to make sure that your hinges are good and firm and you don't have any slop in the door when you're picking it up. See, that's nice and firm right there because I rebuilt these hinges and I'm sure I got a video on that too. After our hinges are rebuilt or we make sure that they're nice and firm, after the door is all lined up perfectly, now we can all go ahead and put on our striker. My latch is already in the door. It only screws in with three bolts. There's no adjustment on it, so there's nothing to do with that but tighten it up. This right here, though, has a lot of adjustments on it. and It's got a couple little niches that I gotta let you know about. Right here, I want you to know there's a, a horizontal serration right here. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit of a raised edge there, and it's the same thing on the top and the bottom here. And what's that gonna do is these spacers right here that help hold the uh, striker in the right spot also, that's what these are for. You're gonna notice these horizontal serrations right here, and those are gonna match up and then your verticals are gonna go against your cab. So now we know this is right. This here also has an L stamped on it. Not all of them have that, so it can be a little confusing on who goes on the left side and who goes on the right side. But you see this little bump on the bottom right here? That's gonna to go to the outside of the truck, okay? So on the right side, this bump would be on the other side. So we know we got this for the left side. That's gonna help us out. We'll go ahead and put our bolts in it here. Now a lot of times these are fine thread bolts and uh, you have to make sure that the threads are in nice shape on your bolts and make sure that if the truck's been painted or anything like that you run chasers through there and try to get them all nice and cleaned up so it's an easier job for you. If you are trying to put this on and you're having trouble with the uh, bolts getting started, you're not going to know, well, am I having trouble lining things up or is it the bolt that is uh, got burrs on it or the, the nuts that are welded into the back here. So fine thread can strip out a little bit quicker and easier than others. So this is just going to go on like this. And I want you to notice there's quite a bit of movement in this. We'll come way up comes way down to the outside, to the inside. So if you don't have that amount of movement in your striker plate, it's probably because from the factory, they put a lot of gunk in the back there to help uh, hold it in place and keep moisture and rust at bay. But a lot of times that'll dry up and it'll solidify and you won't be able to move it around. Or the caged nuts that are in the back, they're rusted up and they won't allow you to move around. So just go ahead and shoot some oil in there and get that cleaned up and get a good amount of movement in here. Now what I'll do is just, um, just snug these up a little bit. I'm going to get it somewhere that feels like the middle, forward, back, and top and bottom. And I'm not tightening these all the way, we're just getting a little bit of a snug. And then I'm going to go ahead and shut the door, and what I'm doing is I want to make sure that my regulator is not hitting down here on the bottom and I want to make sure it's not too high and bumping into my uh, protrusion down here. So I'll get down like this and I'll just simply be eyeballing it. Okay, you hear that one click and then two clicks. You always got to hear two clicks. And then I pull the door back a little bit and that compensates for the rubber that would have been in there. You're weather stripping and if you can it's nice to not have this rubber in there because it forces the door makes it harder to line it up if it's in there it's not that big of a deal it's still doable but it's a little bit nicer to do without so another thing that I'll do is I'll check with a um, straight edge and I'll see that it's nice and even and it's not in or out too much so this um, I just got lucky and it just happened to be in the right spot but let's take a look at what happens when it's not in the right spot okay so let's say for instance this was up too high what's gonna happen is it's gonna hit the door regulator or the latch 
in the wrong spot and then it's going to make it more uh, it may not even shut I'll move this to the outside too here and kind of get a look at what happens okay so see that there's only well yeah so we're only getting one click so we know we're not in the right spot too far out so I'll just loosen this up I'm gonna go for the middle and by not tightening it up all the way, when you shut your door, what'll normally happen is it'll encourage this striker plate to find its right spot. But if you have it too tight, then it won't move. If you have it too loose, then it'll move and just slop all over the place. Okay, so we got one click, two clicks. I'll pull it back a little bit. I'll double check my edge right here, looking perfect. So I am all good to go. Now I'm not going to lie, this actually lined up really quick and easy and it's not always the case. Sometimes there's an accident in the truck, maybe the door got hit, maybe the, um, uh, the B pillar here got hit from the back or the front. Sometimes I've had to use porter powers to push it back or bring it in or add spacers to the back right here. Um, so hopefully you're going to have as much luck as we do get near second click and lined up all perfect now don't forget when you order uh, your striker plate if it's missing we've got those I just use the original on this and I used a brand new latch in this it just went in just exactly like the original ones no problems at all straight into the bolts my name is David Welch I'm at Brothers Tech Center every single week making sure your truck gets back on the road and looks good too and safe Next week, I'll be back with another video, so you make sure you check us out on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to the YouTube channel. You're going to miss it and you're going to feel bad.